What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be sharing my strategies to kill it this quarter four. Now quarter four is huge. It's really the shopping season and um, I have every reason to believe that I'm going to continue hitting new records this quarter four, uh, just like I did last year. So I'm super excited to get into it and share with you the strategies that I'm going to be using. And in addition, I'm gonna be giving away a free 30 minute consulting call at the end of this video. So stick around and find out how you can win that. Let's go ahead and hop right into the value. All right, so before we get into the specific strategies, I think it's really important to talk about the things that you need to be aware of going into quarter four. So number one, and the reason why quarter four is so hyped is because most companies make the majority of their profits during quarter four. Like I mentioned earlier, it's really the shopping season. And um, you know, the main reason that quarter four is so lucrative is the holidays, like Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, uh, even New Year's Eve. I know that's literally the day before the quarter ends, um, but it's still a holiday that you can definitely take advantage of. So conversion rates are a lot higher during Q4 just because people are used to having sales. Um, you know, like they're in the buyer's mindset and um, generally they're looking to get a gift for someone or, you know, just there's a lot of things that go into it, but conversion rates are always higher for me and I know for other stores as well. But um, some of the bad parts about Q4 is, like I said, most companies make the majority of their profits during it, which means for huge, um, enormous companies, they want to make as much money as possible as we all do. But they have massive advertising budgets that they dump in quarter four. So that means your Facebook CPMs are going to be higher and it also means that you're gonna have more competition. We're gonna talk later about how to combat these high CPMs, but another thing that you need to keep in mind during Q4 is that psychology plays a big factor. Like I was talking about earlier, people are in the buyer's mindset and there's many ways that you can kind of um, use that to your advantage as far as using scarcity and urgency and stuff like that to make your conversion rates even higher. And not only that, but you can also, you know, do stuff with your ad copy in order to like trigger something in your customer's brain that says, hey, that would be a great gift for Bob uh, this Christmas. You know, just stuff like that. Um, where you, if you actually look outside the box and think from a buyer's perspective, then you can really twist that to your advantage. So the last thing is you can't forget about AliExpress drop shipping times because if you are using like AliExpress and let's say you're selling a Halloween product, uh, you're not gonna be able to sell that until Halloween if you want your customers to receive it. So I generally, I mean, uh, technically ePacket takes like 14 to 20 days. Um, ePacket generally takes about 20 days and that's the average. So there's plenty of orders that take more than 20 days and you really need to keep that in mind whenever you're advertising your products. Uh, I would definitely put that on your product pages. It's especially important during Q4. So there are some ways to combat these shipping times, for example, using an agent. Um, now agents are great, but the really biggest disadvantage of them is that you need to have like a, a larger amount of orders per day, like at least like 20 plus orders per day for a certain product in order to use an agent. Um, another way you can combat these shipping times is with a company called Silk Road, which is basically like Oberlo, except better, except newer, so kind of sketchy. <laughs> I haven't used them yet. I've heard a lot about them and I'll probably be testing them in the next couple of weeks. Um, but anyway, they can get, they can get um, five to seven day shipping from China, which is pretty impressive. Now there's obviously other ways to combat shipping times like using US warehouses on AliExpress or even getting your own US warehouse to ship products for you. I have my own US fulfillment warehouse and you're welcome to DM me on Instagram if you'd like me to connect you with the owner of that. Okay, so my recommendations going into quarter four is that a, you need to plan your holiday strategy at least one month in advance. I planned my complete Q4 strategy that was done like weeks ago. And um, you know, that doesn't really necessarily include 
like going super into detail for every single holiday. Um, but I would recommend planning that um, at least one month in advance. And then another thing you need to be aware of is um, influencers are going to sell out for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, big holidays like that. And you don't want a page to be running 20 ads in one day or yours is not going to do good. So I would recommend reserving pages at least a month in advance, um, especially if they're big pages on a big holiday. In addition, I would recommend that you use the rest of September and October in order to test. Now, um, you, you should really be testing like now and you should have a pretty good idea of what works now. But if you don't, then this is kind of your last chance before, like I said, CPMs increase and you just have like, um, you know, you want to be making massive amounts of profit in November and December. You don't want to be testing and trying to figure out what works. On a note of testing, I would recommend that you use Halloween to test your Black Friday and Cyber Monday strategies. Now, I heard this from another YouTuber and I honestly thought that it was a great idea and that's something that I'm going to be doing because I'm using a new Black Friday Cyber Monday strategy um, different from what I did last year and I think that it's going to do good but I don't know that for certain and I think having a Halloween sale that's structured similarly, similarly to my Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale, I think that's going to give me the data that's going to allow me to you know, make sure that that works. So like I was saying earlier, CPMs are almost always higher during Q4 because people are spending more money and Facebook wants to make more money. That's just, you know, it's how it is. Um, so the more saturated the audience and the market is, um, the higher the CPMs are. For example, if you were targeting, um, you know, Indians aged 14 to 16, it's probably not gonna be that saturated. But if you're targeting women aged 45 to 65 in the United States, um, it's gonna be pretty expensive. Um, so you really gotta use September and October in order to find the best content um, because if you have like a really engaging video ad, for example, um, then your CPMs are gonna be lower just because a lot of people watch it and they comment on it and they like it and Facebook likes seeing that, um, so they're gonna reward you with lower CPMs. Another way you can combat high CPMs is to use Instagram influencers. Now, this should be done either way or not you're using Facebook, but Instagram influencers are like hitting during Q4. I'm telling you, like people are just looking to spend money and influencers actually give me the lowest CPC and the lowest CPR. Now, granted, I have done extensive testing with influencers and I know which pages work and which don't. Um, so that's another thing that I would recommend that you test. If you have like, you know, if you're going to be running a five, six, seven million follower influencer on Black Friday or Cyber Monday or something like that, then I would recommend that you test that beforehand just so you know that the page works. So another thing that you should be doing during Q4 is utilizing email marketing. Now this is something that you should be doing either way or not. Um, but it's just free money because you already have those emails and you can just market to those people again and again and again. Now, one thing that I would recommend doing, especially if you have a brand, is trying to provide value in at least 50% of your emails. Uh, for me personally, I send one email a week or I try to send one email a week and I alternate between like a promotion and a value email. I would also recommend that you send a minimum of one email per week in quarter four. I would recommend that you send more than one email a week if it's like in preparation for a big holiday. Like I was saying earlier, the more saturated the market, the higher the CPM. So if you're targeting worldwide or smaller like countries that most people don't target, for example, Switzerland or France or Germany, or Norway, I don't know, like just stuff like that. Um, minor countries that people tend to forget about, um, then your CPMs are gonna be a lot lower. So there's an algorithm that determines Facebook's CPMs and their relevance scores basically determine how good or how bad you're doing, which in turn determines how good or how bad your CPMs are. So I would recommend that you research relevance scores. I don't wanna talk like, this whole video about it because there's a ton that goes into it. And personally, like 
I don't know everything. I guess no one really knows everything because it's a super com complicated algorithm. Um, but anyway, optimizing your funnel is super important to get the lowest CPMs possible, which means you need a high conversion rate. Like that's what Facebook looks like to determine if you have a good website. And then you also need like a high like engagement on your video or your picture. Um, but it really should be a video because those are more engaging. And then there's just a lot of other factors that go into it. But long story short, you need to optimize your funnel from the moment someone sees your ad to the moment someone checks out on your store. Another way that you can combat high CPMs is to increase your average order value because if it takes you you know, $10 to get a purchase when before it took you $5 to get a purchase, it probably won't be that significant by the way. But um, you know, you're gonna want that purchase to be higher um, in order to compensate for the difference. And like I said, like people are just in a shopping mind state during Q4, so you should be doing this anyway. Like um, test out a bunch of different apps and there's a bunch of different strategies, some of which I've written here in order to increase your average order value. So another way is to be creative with your advertising. Facebook is not the only platform out there and there's just so much other things that you can do. For example, you can do influencer ads or you could do native ads with or without influencers or you could do YouTube ads or you could do Snapchat ads or you could do Facebook influencer ads or you could do YouTube influencer ads or you could do Facebook page ads like it is just an incredible amount of potential and the fact that everyone is focusing on Facebook is going to give you an advantage when you use all the other advertising platforms. All right, so the last thing that we're gonna be talking about is how to kill it on holidays because if you think about it, like your, your conversion rates are gonna be higher like across the board uh, during quarter four, but your holidays are really when you're gonna clock in like big, like record setting numbers. Um, for me personally, Black Friday is like, I set a new record high like every year um, for my like personal best. And I'm excited to do that again this year, fingers crossed. So anyway, um, one of the reasons or one of the ways that you can increase your conversion rates during holidays is to optimize your website around the holidays. So for example, during Christmas, I'll add like a little like Santa hat on my logo. Um, you know, just stuff like that. It doesn't have to be huge. You could just have like a banner that says Black Friday sale and soon. Or, you know, you could have like a cover photo that says Black Friday sale now live. Like, you know, there's tons of stuff that you can do. But anyway, just like having some congruency between your ad that says, you know, Black Friday sale is here. And then your website that says Black Friday sale is also here. Like, you know, just having a little bit of congruency is going to help increase your conversion rates. So like I was saying earlier with email marketing, it's super important to like tell customers when you're gonna have a big sale. Personally for Black Friday, I have like, I basically spam my customers. Like I'm not afraid to say, I send them three emails on Black Friday. I send them emails before Black Friday. I send them emails like on the weekend of Black Friday. I send them emails a week before Black Friday telling them that Black Friday is going to be here and then like, I'll start my sale a couple days early, you know, just tons of emails, especially for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, because those are going to be your biggest holidays. Because um, it's just, you know, like, I would recommend personally that you run a sale for like a week or so, like maybe Tuesday to Tuesday or even longer than that, really. Um, but, you know, that's just going to be an incredibly profitable week. And you just want to drive as many people to your website as possible. And then you're gonna be able to do that for free with email marketing, then it's just like, there's no reason that you wouldn't wanna do it. Another way to let customers know about the holiday or the sale that's coming up is to post on your social media. Now, obviously, if you don't have a following, this doesn't really matter, but for those of you that do, make sure to add it, like, throw some story posts up there, throw some feed posts up there, comment on your pictures that have nothing to do with the holiday, you know, just stuff like that. Um, to let your followers know that like they better like remember you and keep you in mind once the holiday comes up. So another way to kill it on holidays is to focus super hard on retargeting. Now this is really, 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 really big because like I said earlier, like it's a seven day plus event just for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. 
and you have Christmas and you have New Year's and you have Halloween and like all these other holidays. So you really need to focus on retargeting and like I, I normally extend it longer than I, I would otherwise. So personally, normally I use seven day custom audiences in order to retarget people. Uh, but for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I'm going to use, uh, you know, like a longer time frame for that. Just because people may still be interested in your product. Maybe they were just, you know, distracted by another store or whatever. But anyway, like you really got to focus and go hard on retargeting. And that's going to be part of a Black Friday video that I have coming up. So talking about custom audiences, it's really important to like be creative with that. Like retargeting is huge. And one thing that you can do is you can use 180 day custom audiences for the people that let's say they went on your website back in like May and they looked around and you know, they were going to buy it, but they didn't for some reason. And then they didn't buy like when you retargeted them in May, but maybe when you have an even bigger sale in November, then they're going to buy from you. So that's something that I haven't really tested yet, but I will be this year and I'm pretty sure it's going to have some good results. Another creative targeting thing that you can do during holidays is to target family and friends of your audience because people are buying a lot of gifts on, you know, like Black Friday, Cyber Monday and Christmas, like the whole month of December. So it can be really effective if you target friends and family of your audience and you're able to do that through a Facebook targeting tool. And I believe it is just for interest. Um, I don't really think you're able to do that with lookalike audiences. So another way that you're going to be able to kill it on holidays and increase your conversion rate is to focus on scarcity and urgency. Like I was saying before, like the mental side of this plays a huge part in your success. Now, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, big holidays like that. Those are the only times that I use countdown timers. And I don't normally use like um, the timer timers. I normally use stock countdown timers. Those seem to do best for me, but you're welcome to test that on your own. And anyway, just work some scarcity and some urgency into your product pages, into your ads, like everywhere. It needs to be like turned up because you should have some scarcity and some urgency now, but during the holidays, that just needs to go to a whole new level. So another thing that I really should not have to say, but I'm going to anyway, is to work the holidays into your advertisements. Like for example, your ad copy needs to say something about Black Friday. It needs to say that, you know, our insane Black Friday sale has started early. Get in before all of our products sell out, you know, just like something like that. But you need to put in your ad copy. And then, like I said, you need to put it in your like website too, just so that you have some congruency there. And then, like I was saying earlier, your average order value is massive. Like it, it's really, really, really going to make a difference as far as how like how profitable you are obviously and how good that you can scale. One thing I would recommend, there were a bunch of recommendations right here for increasing your average order value, but Sweet Upsell, the app is, it's really, really, really increased my average order value. Um, it's made by like Tristan Broughton and it's not on the Shopify app store. So you'll have to Google it. But anyway, like they have a product repeat. So whenever a customer buys something, it'll be like, thank you for purchasing. Here's 50% off if you want to buy that product again. And so many people opt for that. And if you have really good profit margins, then adding like, you know, 10, 20, $30 profit extra, like on a sale that you already paid for. Um, that's really, really, really huge. And I probably didn't do a great job explaining it, but I would recommend that you look into that yourself. All right. So I am going to be releasing a video that has my like in-depth strategies for black Friday and cyber Monday. And I know that this was like a whole Q4 explanation, but I'm going to dive it like really in depth on like exactly like what I'm doing. I'm talking like the text for the emails and like everything like super super specific so be sure to keep your eyes out for that video all right guys i really hope you enjoyed this video hopefully you were able to take a ton of value out of this and get some strategies that you can start implementing now so that you're able to see what works you know once the holidays roll around 
If you would like to win a free 30 minute consulting call with yours truly, then all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, make sure that you like this video, and make sure that you leave a comment below letting me know why you'd like to win. That's all you gotta do to win, and I'm gonna be picking the winner of that consulting call in the beginning of next video, which should be around a week or so from today. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out. You guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.